Hey there, Christian from Rackyard here. In this tutorial, we're going to walk through the process of migrating your Linux VPS to a new VPS using rsync. Whether you're moving one server to another or moving to a new hosting provider, this guide will quickly help you do it. And it's very efficient. So let's dive in. All right, rsync is a powerful tool that makes transferring files between servers a breeze. But before we jump in, let's talk about the recommended experience level. This guide is suitable for users who have a fundamental understanding of Linux. You should be comfortable with connecting to your server via SSH, using a text editor like Nano, and copying and pasting commands into your SSH terminal. While you don't need to be an expert, a basic grasp of server management will be helpful here. If you're still just building your Linux expertise, don't worry, we will guide you through step by step. So just follow the process and we will make it as easy as possible to follow along. Now, there are different ways to migrate your VPS and the method we're going to cover today using rsync will work for 90% of use cases. It's a great one-to-one -one migration method, but remember, not every migration is the same. Depending on your specific environment, software, stack, and technical expertise, the best method for you may vary a little bit. Sometimes you don't need to migrate everything. A targeted approach focused on specific components can be more efficient. Hosting control panel like cPanel, Direct Admin, and Plesk offer built-in tools for seamless migrations within their ecosystems. For more complex environments, you may need specialized migration tools or services tailored specifically to those applications. In some cases, you may want to transfer only essential files or data, leaving other components to be set up from scratch on a new server. The nature of your environment will determine the most appropriate migration method. Ultimately, the best approach depends on your unique needs. What works for one setup might not be ideal for another. If you're unsure about which migration strategy is the best for your system, consulting an experienced Linux admin can be very helpful. Now, before we dive into the migration steps, let's go over the prerequisites to make sure everything is in place for a smooth migration. First, make sure you have your source VPS, the server you wish to migrate from, and your destination VPS, which should be a fresh install of the same Linux OS version as your source VPS. The destination VPS should have nothing installed or running on it. It should be as clean as possible. Both servers should be accessible via SSH so you can execute the necessary commands. You'll also need rsync installed on both servers. If it's not already installed, don't worry, we will demonstrate how to install it in this tutorial. So just keep watching. And finally, we want to ensure that the new VPS has the exact same operating system version as the old one. If they don't match, issues may arise during the migration. You can check the OS version by running the command cat forward slash etc forward slash OS dash release on both servers to confirm they match exactly. Now that we've covered the prerequisites, let's get started with the migration itself. I'll share my screen here and let's get started with the tutorial. First, open your terminal and connect to your source VPS using SSH. And once logged in as root, ensure that rsync is installed on the source VPS. To check if it's already installed, run the following command. If rsync is not installed, you can install it by using the following command for your server's OS. Repeat the same check and installation process for your destination VPS. Once both servers are ready, we can proceed to create our exclusion list to optimize the migration process. On your source VPS, create a plain text file using the following command. This will open the nano text editor. Now copy and paste the following list of directories and files to exclude from the migration. Save the file by pressing Ctrl plus X, then press Y to confirm and hit enter to exit the editor. Now we'll perform the actual migration, but first I will store a sample file from my source server so that we can verify after the migration steps. To do just that, run this command. This will create a text file named sample under the roots home directory, as you can see here. Now let's run this rsync command from the source server. Adjust it to match your values by replacing it with your destination VPS's IP address. If you have customized your SSH port before, update the SSH port from the default, which is 22. Moving on, you'll be prompted for the password 
of your destination VPS to establish the connection. Enter the password and let rsync begin transferring your data. The process may take some time depending on the size of your data. When complete, your SSH session will return to a ready prompt. At this point, shut down your source server and reboot the destination server. These functions are typically available in your provider's control panel. For Rack Nerd users, you can do this in the Nerd VM Solace VM control panel. After the reboot, connect your new server using SSH. As usual, I am using my Bitvice SSH client to make it easier for me. To learn about using Bitvice SSH client, just check out our channel for tutorials. Now use the new server IP address, but credentials or root server password from your old server, as the migration process copies over the user and password configurations. This detail is critical, so don't mess up the passwords. Finally, verify the transfer by checking that your files are present on the destination server. Navigate through your directories and confirm that your data has been successfully transferred. Test your applications to ensure they're functioning as expected. This includes checking configurations, databases, and services that were migrated. Troubleshoot any issues you encounter during testing. In our case, we can check ours with this demonstration by checking our sample text file that we've created earlier from the source server, if you remember. To do that, run this command. And as you can see, it's all good. So while this method provides a quick and simple way to migrate your VPS, it is important to understand its limitations. This approach isn't 100% set and go, and its effectiveness depends entirely on your software stack and environment. For example, if you're using a hosting control panel like cPanel, this method may not be ideal due to the numerous dependencies involved and could potentially cause issues. For such environments, it is advisable to follow the software stack's recommended migration procedure. cPanel and WHM, for instance, has its own transfer protocol feature designed specifically for migrations. Additionally, some configurations that reference your old VPS IP may be transferred during this process, such as web server configurations. You may or may not need to adjust these configurations accordingly for your new VPS IP after migration. The effectiveness of this migration method can vary depending on your specific setup. If you're not sure about the best way to proceed, it is highly, highly recommended to consult with an experienced Linux systems administrator and or your IT team before proceeding with any migrations. And that's it, you have successfully migrated your VPS to a new server with rsync. While migrating a server can seem overwhelming at first, tools like rsync make the process much more manageable and highly effective for most use cases. Just be sure to double check your exclusions and verify that your new server is properly configured before going live. This guide has shown you a straightforward method for performing a near one-to-one -one migration of your Linux server from one VPS to another. However, we strongly recommend consulting with an experienced Linux systems administrator or your IT team to determine the best migration method for your specific environment. The approach we've outlined here is one of many possible solutions and may not be suitable for every scenario out there. Always ensure that your migration strategy aligns with your unique software stack and system requirements. Considering all intricacies involved, we hope this tutorial has given you clarity and confidence to handle your VPS migration. If you have any questions or encounter any issues, don't hesitate to reach out to the Rack Nerd support team for assistance. With that said, talk soon.